your face. <laughs> the yeah, uh, uh, your yeah. eyes. <laughs> good yeah, evening. <laughs> My computer good is evening. down. I have, I'm, I'm I'm sitting now. Okay. Have, good evening. Hello. How are you today? Fine, Fine, teacher. And you? I'm a little bit tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I woke up very, very early today, and I couldn't get any sleep during the day, so I oh, feel a little bit tired. Terrible. Yes. Terrible. It's not that bad, but I, you know, I, I, I feel the need to, to go to bed and get some rest. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. So welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? Today's date. Today is fourth. Wednesday. Uh, November fourth, two thousand twenty. Right. Yes. Wednesday, November fourth, two thousand and twenty. Twenty. That is correct. Uh, do you guys remember the topics that we mentioned yesterday? Infinitive clauses, teacher. Okay. Describing right. purposes. Propose. Yes. Yeah. Purpose. purpose. Yeah, purpose. Pur purpose, purposes. Yes. So remember that uh, w when you're taking English classes, you know, like some of the topics, the structures that you use every day, uh, they have a name. So I said, oh, I know that one. I use that every time when I talk. So, you know, grammar, you know, like it has different mm -hmm. structures, segments, and they have names yes. and they have rules. Yes. Uh, anything else about yesterday? I couldn't enter yesterday. Yes, I noticed as well, though. All right. So you have to bring pupusas tomorrow for everybody. All right. <laughs> ah, Metro Galerias, Metro Cafe. Yeah, Metro Cafe. <laughs> yeah, even the yeah. pupusas are good there. I can share pupusas, oh. but just the pictures. Oh, okay. So, I, so I'll put the drinks. I'll put the drinks. <laughs> and you okay, share the drink. Miss, miss, Mister, you yes, know sir. something? Uh huh. I want, I want to talk, I want to say something. It's, it's just a saying. Yeah. You know. Imagine all the students in in that uh, one are in high school, kinder, are not in classes. Imagine, in yeah. now it's not raining. It's not raining. Yeah, it's very, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yeah, <laughs> life is very different. Life is very different. And, and we need to adapt to, to the changes. You know, we, yeah, we don't have any but, other options. Yeah, I know, but they are not doing good things. Yeah. Because you know. my, yesterday it didn't rain, today it didn't rain. And kids, are, they don't have classes. Well, you know, in Lourdes, it's been raining since the afternoon. Yeah, but, but it's low. But it's low. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's prevention, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay, so. Okay, um, let's continue. Let's be very good. It's better that we right. continue class. <laughs> all right. Any, any questions or comments about yesterday? Mm -hmm. No? No. No. Okay, so let's begin our first activity with a vocabulary segment. Let me see, where is this here? <sighs> right here. How do you explain the word success? What is success for you? Somebody like, that... Uh, um, uh -huh. To meet your goals, maybe? Has, has good result. Okay, uh, someone that has good results, someone that meets goals, uh-huh. What else? Um, now, what kind of personality does a person need to experience uh, success? Winner. Um, when you, yeah. when you. Hard worker. Hard worker, yes. Uh, energetic, you, when, enthusiastic. Energetic, enthusiastic. Yes, Guillermo. When right. you accomplish your goals, it's a success of your life or something. Right. And what kind of personality does the person need to get there to achieve your goals? Winning. Active. 
Rescue. Rescue. Yeah, you need to be active. You need to stay Correct. positive. Risk. Take Invest. risks. You need to yeah. take risks. Right. That's the principal thing. Yeah. I think so. Invincible. Yeah. yeah. Be invincible. Right. And he, he needs to be disciplined or to have discipline? Yeah. The person needs to be disciplined. Definitely. It's I mean, the discipline, discipline is something uh, so important. Like, and it's not easy to be disciplined, but if you really want to get that uh, goal and achieve your objectives, you will have to be uh, uh, disciplined. Yep. Yeah, also, also you have to be uh, very self-secure or believing in, in yourself. Yeah, self-confident. Confident. Self-confident. Yeah. Yeah. Self-confident, Self yes. Yes, right. Hello. Is the same, is the same as a reliant? Uh, what is the word? Reliant. Yeah, reliant. Yeah, you need Practice. to rely on yourself. Proactive. Yeah, I think, proactive. I think also, I think yes. you also need to, to, to trace a path or a route and frequently uh, check uh, and make a review of what yeah. you did and what you also have to have change. To do. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, you need feedback, you know, and it's better if you get feedback from yourself because the change is in your hands. So, look, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing too fast. I'm going too slow. So, it's in your hands to make changes. Yeah. Uh, also, you need, uh, you have to help uh, help others exactly you need to reach back exactly you need to reach back you know once you obtain your your goals once you achieve your objectives it is something mandatory to reach back and help others yes definitely to reach back mm -hmm. reach back reach back Okay. How do you spell it? Our... Okay, let me, it's R-E-A-C-H. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, reach back, reach, reach back. back. And, and reach. the meaning is literal because when you reach back, mm -hmm. you're turning yourself around and getting somebody. So you reach back. Mm. Yes. Celia, reach how back. are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing okay. You have disappeared. How is the weather? Yes, I'm very sorry. I, I couldn't be on that class. Okay. Well, Lourdes is raining a little bit, you know, light rain. And windy. Uh, not really. I went to San Salvador today in the morning and it was windy. San Salvador was windy. Not Lourdes. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. So any other um, characteristics about someone that uh, wants to see uh, success? Someone that wants to succeed? Teacher, mm -hmm. I believe yeah. that when you wake up, in the, wake up very early in the morning, uh, you are uh, like, um, you have more time to get organized 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 uh -huh. and and do more things right right and in a better way exactly exactly mm -hmm. yeah i mean the more time you have the more you develop your responsibilities your duties and everything but many of us we prefer to sleep longer than than taking advantage of time you know so yeah, waking up early is really important. It's, it's part of being disciplined. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. Okay, so let me show you the list of vocabulary that we have here. Okay, can you see the vocabulary? Yes, yes Okay, so we have fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, Charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, and well written. Entertaining. 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 Yes. Okay. 
yeah, the 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 first uh the first T is quiet. Entertaining. Yes. Entertaining. Entertaining. So if you want okay. to say entretenimiento, you will say entertainment. 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 Yes. Okay. Fashionable. Fashionable. How many syllables are there with the word fashionable? How many what? Syllables. How many syllables do you hear? Fashionable. Four. Four. Four is Four. correct. Fashionable. Yeah. Okay. okay. How do you pronounce the it second has one? It has an uh, yes. yes. Fashionable. Yeah, there's a deep tongue. Yes. How do you gorgeous. pronounce? Gorgeous. What's the meaning of gorgeous? Gorgeous. 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 Beautiful. 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 Yeah, beautiful. very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Industrious. Someone that is really industrious. 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 How many industrious. syllables are there? Three. 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 Three is correct. Three. Muscular. 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 How many? Three. Three. Three is correct. Three. Slender. What's the meaning of slender? Okay. Good That's, shape. Um, yeah. In the yeah. Room. yeah. Someone that in is slim. Good weight. Thin. Slim. Yeah. Slim. Thin. Skinny. Thin. Right. Uh, so. Uh, no, I right, get it. Yeah, because, uh, you know, some people make a, a relation, like if they see someone slender, they said, oh, he's in good condition or she's in good condition. But that's not true all the time. You know, you might look uh, slender, but maybe something is wrong with you. But usually slender, you know, everybody wants to be slender. So slender means uh, someone that is usually thin or skinny. Slender man. Slender. Yeah, exactly. Like slender, slender man. Where do you see Slenderman? Is it a movie? Is a book? No. It's a mo it is a movie and a video game. Oh, really? It's a, it's a, a, a horror, horror video game, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. A horror movie. Okay, and the guy is Slender, I imagine? It's Slender, yes. Okay. It's, it's a very, very tall, Slender right. and white. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, very, okay. very creepy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Clever. Clever. How many syllables yes, in clever. clever? Yes. Two syllables. Two. 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 Okay. Industrious is someone that is uh, always worker? Worker? Uh, always making or producing something. Diligent. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Diligent could be a, a word to compare. Word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many syllables in the word clever? Two. 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 Okay, and Two what is syllables. the meaning? What is the meaning? Someone is smart. smart. Yeah, smart. smart person? Yeah, smart. smart. Charming. Charming. How many syllables in charming? Two, Two. 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 syllables. Okay, yeah. what is the meaning of charming? Charming is nice. Um, Something nice. Yeah, someone nice. Nice right. person. So, so if they ask your husband, your wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, they said, so how do you describe him? How do you describe her? Will they say you're a charming person? No. Don't answer. Okay, good. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, teach Every, everybody, everybody stay quiet. Like, oh, let's change the subject. <laughs> charming. <laughs> Okay. Charming. How do you say charming in Spanish? Encantador. Right, right. Encantador. Okay, so we have knowledgeable, knowledgeable. knowledgeable. How many knowledgeable. syllables say knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. Four syllables. Four, four, four syllables. Three. 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 Four. Three. Okay, four. Knowledge. Four. Knowledge. 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 Is like clear. Knowledgeable is like clever. Uh, it could be knowledgeable is someone that knows a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's say yeah, maybe some read. Like wise person. Yeah, like a wise person. So let's say you have a question about cars, and then you said, "Oh, go talk to the neighbor. He's very knowledgeable about cars." Yeah. Knows, knows, knowledgeable. 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 Difficult to pronounce. Knowledgeable. 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 Right. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Yes. Knowledgeable. 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 Yeah. 
knowledgeable. knowledgeable. What does mean knowledgeable? Someone knowledgeable? that knows a lot about a particular ah, okay. topic. An expert. An expert. So Ovidio is very knowledgeable with electricity. Right? Right. Right. So More or less. No, knowledgeable, <laughs> knowledgeable is someone that knows a lot. Ovidio says that's what people say, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> that's why why students say. Okay, persuasive. 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 Four syllables. Four. 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 And what is the meaning of persuasive? Sans somebody that, that convinces with convince his yeah. or her word. Right. Someone that knows how to convince people. Right. Yeah. Persuasive. Uh, the next word is pronounced, pronounced oh. tough. 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 Somebody rude. Rude. Uh, G H is usually pronounced like an F. Yeah. Like tough. what am I doing? <laughs> What's this? Cough. Coughing. Cough. Coughing. Cough. Cough. So G H, right? So tough is someone. Ah. Uh, the tough. Yeah, not rude, but someone. Rude. What is the word? Uh, uh, aggressive, uh, but not physically speaking, but like, okay, rude. that is mine. Like, you, you take it. Yeah, like yeah. rude. Uh, no. Yeah, but, but rude, when you are rude, uh, you don't have manners to say things. Oh, that was rude. You should have said no. You should have said yes. So tough means like with a strong character. Strong character. Oh, okay. Direct. Uh, direct. Uh, a direct person. Yeah, a direct. Direct, direct person. Yeah. Okay. And when you say no, it's a no. If you say yes, it's a yes. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Affordable. 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 Four syllables. Four. Four. Yeah. Affordable. affordable. What is the meaning? Uh, okay, what is the meaning of affordable class? That is not too expensive. much money. Um, something that you can pay, something that is right. not too, right. too expensive. Right. So affordable means something that you can pay. So you said, hey, are you going to the concert? Uh, yeah, of I am. Many. Hey, how, how, much, how much are the tickets? Uh, $20. Oh, that's affordable. Okay. So affordable means being able to pay for something. Affordable. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, attractive. attractive. Three, three syllables. Three is three. correct. Okay. Entertaining. 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 Four. Entertaining. Four syllables. Four? Four is correct. Four syllables. Yeah. Entertaining. Yes. Entertaining. Four. Right. Attractive. Then you have informative. Informative. How four many syllables? Four. Four syllables. Four. And the last one four. is four. well written. 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 Yes. Remember that well when, when you're talking, when you're practicing with um well with American pronunciation and you have a T plus a vowel plus an N at the end. Usually Americans, they omit the vowel sound. So they say written, gotten, written, cotton, written, gotten, Latin America. Yes. Cotton. Yeah, cotton. Written. Uh -huh. Written, gotten. So well written. So, well written. Okay. Do you remember how to identify the number of syllables in a word? How do you identify the number of syllables in a word in English? So if I say gorgeous, gorgeous, how many syllables are there? Two. Two. Two, two. two is correct. How do you know? Because I count the, the sounds of... For the vowels? Exactly. Yeah, the vowels. The vowels. Yeah, vowels. So when you say gorgeous, if you analyze the word, we have one, two, three, four vowels. We have double O, we have letter E, and we have letter U. 
but we're not mm -hmm. checking what we see. We're checking what we hear. So when you say gorgeous, you only hear two vowels. Two, two, so wow. the number of vowels will indicate how many syllables the word has. Gorgeous, two syllables. Gorgeous. Yes. Gorgeous. Mexico, three syllables. Honduras, three syllables. Colombia, Colombia. How many three. Words, How many syllables in Colombia? Three. 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 Yes, yeah, three. Three. Deep tongue. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's not Colombia. It's Colombia. It's a deep tongue, exactly. All right. Um, any questions about this vocabulary? No. What teacher, is the meaning clearly. of well written? Well written. What is well written? Uh, someone can write very well. Yeah. Is it like a writer or, or yeah. someone who write a story? They can re write. Exactly. Have an, a very nice vocabulary. He, he can, it can 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 pronounce can use a lot of vocabulary to to to, to write maybe an essay. Yeah, essays, journals. Yes. Yep. Now, what aspects uh, are good when you're checking a document? Which things are you supposed to apply when you're writing a document? The grammar, punctuation, or grammar, punctuation, punctuation. Yeah. orthographic, or spelling, spelling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and, when, and understand and understand what action. what do you do you. What you want to say. What to say. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. So remember. Comprehension. Yeah, like uh, what you're writing, you need to ask yourself. Let's say you're writing memos, you're writing emails. You have to ask yourself, okay, I'm going to send this email to my supervisor. You have to put yourself in the shoes of your supervisor and ask yourself, will he understand this document? Yeah. Will she understand what I'm saying? You know, because when you're writing, you know what you want to say, but the person reading it might have a problem to understand what your message is. So that's why it's necessary to go over the writing process. You know, the writing process has five different parts. So you're supposed to go uh, one by one. It takes more time, obviously, because you, 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 you will say, okay, I need to send an email ta, 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 and send. But that's when people say like, what did you mean? Or they tell you, you misspelled the words or punctuation was not good. And that's why you need to follow the writing process. It takes more time, but uh, uh, good results. It's you better. should follow it. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments about this vocabulary? No? No, sir. Okay, so let me take a picture of this. You can also take a screenshot if you want. If you want. Uh, 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 nine to ten p.m. Nine to ten. Good evening, everybody. I can take the class today for personal situation. I'm sorry. Okay. So take a screenshot of the vocabulary that I'm sharing with you right here. And I will assign you to work in pairs and analyze which of these aspects are the most important. So let me create the rooms. I have good attendance today. Congratulations. Uh, ha -ha. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. What, yes, sir. What, what we have to, to discuss? Uh, you have to analyze the list that I'm showing you right now. Yeah. Discuss which ones do you consider are the most important to have success in life. Okay. Okay. Well. So let me assign you guys. It's loading. So which ones do you consider to be the most important?
fashionable per, for a fashionable person what is what is what, what it means the success right i think i i um it depends depends of the of the success type because if you are a model a model maybe you have to be fashionable gorgeous gorgeous right gorgeous uh, okay to success but but so if success you are a fashion? professional, mm -hmm. so we have to use the the, the proposed description in on, on this on the, on the on the what about where we are going to discuss? Yeah, and you need have a good presentation, and I think that is a good quality, and uh, maybe well, not affordable at all. Maybe be industrious. And for, being what? Hmm? for being what? For being uh, industrious. A professional, uh, no, but ah. to be a professional uh, person. To success, ah, okay. you, you should be uh, knowledgeable, persuasive, persuasive. And industrious. Persuasive. 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 Okay, persuasive. Yes, uh -huh. persuasive. And industry. Mm -hmm. To That's my opinion. Okay. To succeed on fashion, you have to be fashionable. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh>. Right. <laughs> totally. <laughs> hate it. Hate it's gonna hate me. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, oh. Succeeding fashion, you have it's it, it's it's you have to be attractive, right? And entertain, entertaining, yeah. Okay. For a, an administrative office, you need to be uh, clever and and informative, as well as well written. Um, I don't know, but I think all of them. Are, are very important. Um, for example, if, if you work for a, um, uh, if you are a teacher, for example, if you are a teacher, if you work uh, in a university or in a school, you need to, to have a good knowledge of, of the signatures and in general, of all the 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 cultures. subjects, subjects. Yes, <laughs> thank you, okay. teacher. Sure. Um, and I was I was saying that for me, all the qualifies are are very important, and it depends on the area you are working for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, because yes, I, I agree. Uh, mm -hmm. I agree with with Elia. Okay. Yeah, because in some industries, I mean, you don't need to be gorgeous. You don't need to be muscular. You don't need to be slender. But your intellectual uh, way of proceeding is, is, is more important. So it's not only about looks. Yes, of course. Yes, sure. But in some oh, well. companies, you know, like how you look is it counts a lot. Yes, I told I was saying to to Valentina that if you work for a a clothes store or uh -huh. a boutique, uh -huh. you need to be fashionable, for example, or yep. even gorgeous. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That slender, muscular. Yes. Yeah. Slender, yes, yes, of course. True. True. Yeah, it depends on which uh, the, the industry that you're working for. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's right. It's a guy with a lot of knowledge. It's very, very smart. And, and it's kind of charming. And that helped him to handle the people because some, some the, the, the people is around you they believe that you think you are better than they and stuff like that. But if you are charming with them, uh, you can handle that situation, I think. What about you? Okay. 
it's I think in a similar way because for me um, be persuasive it's very important because persuasive if persuasive yeah. uh, yes persuasive because if you can't uh, get uh, people uh, sing um, in the same way uh, of you, uh, you, you can get uh, good results. Mm -hmm. In fact, in some cases, persuasive is, could be superior to knowledgeable. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, it depends uh, of the situation. Yes. Right. Yes. We we have some very good examples and for politics, I think. Politics. Uh, yeah. Uh, financial guys. Yes. Um, uh, but in my experience, Hello, hello. Hello, oh, mister. Did you finish uh, the exercise? Yeah, yes, we did. Okay. Yeah. Let, let me visit another room and uh, this is room four. Let me see who's in room five. Well written. Mm -hmm. Well written. Well mm -hmm. written. Well written. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. It sounds well good. written. Well written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that one. It's really important because in some cases, when you are going to an interview for you to get a job, mm -hmm. uh -huh. they might be testing your, your grammar and all of that. Yeah, that's correct. Or maybe if you're sending some informative emails to your co-workers or memo, I don't know. Right. You have to know how to express yourself. You know. Exactly. You know, when, I, when I'm teaching different subjects, like when I'm teaching at the university, I assign uh, journals to my students at least once a week mm -hmm. uh, because the way you speak is reflected on how you write. So if right. I make this particular mistake when I speak, I'm gonna make the same mistake when I write because your writing is a reflection of the way you, you speak. Mm -hmm. So the ones that are paying attention to how people write, you know, they correct two things. You know, they, they, they improve, they correct their writing and eventually they, they correct the way they speak. So writing is is really important yes definitely yeah, Teaching, yeah uh -huh. that's correct we do have a question for uh -huh. you yeah how do you say intelligence emotional in english emotional intelligence no <laughs> we were right <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We emotional intelligence no we were thinking that it could be a different uh, term that express that uh, well sometimes but, it's a different term but that one in particular is a emotional intelligence okay right okay. something very very important in any field yeah, where you in work. General. yeah it's in general even if yeah. you're not working i mean even you apply it in your personal life you know mm -hmm. making decisions to get your goals exactly exactly mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Another. No, I, I, for me, the same, clearer, uh, um, persuasive, knowledgeable. well written, knowledgeable, 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 knowledgeable. knowledgeable. Okay. 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 Listen carefully. Difficult. Knowledgeable. When you say knowledgeable. The stress is in the first syllable. So you say knowledgeable. 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 Yes. Okay. Knowledgeable. 
Yeah, and, and this is a word that people use every day. So you should be uh, very familiar how to pronounce it. Oh, I think uh, we, need, uh, we need to create the profile of our next candidate. This person has to be very knowledgeable with computers. This person has to be very knowledgeable with finance, you know, so knowledgeable. 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 Yes, not exactly. Knowledgeable. 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 Yeah. Thank you, sir. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah, but remember, practice makes perfect. So you need to insist, insist, and insist. Knowledgeable. Exactly. Knowledgeable. Yeah. Knowledgeable. About for not and at, at the beginning, but right now, I, I know. I, I don't. Yes, but in this moment, we are, we are working in normal, normally. Schedule. We have a lot of, of cases every day. Where do you work again, Shanita? She worked at FUNAT. 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 Okay. At then, at then, for example, a accident, people have an accident. Right, right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, FUNAT was, um, you know, like uh, we would pay taxes uh, a while back for victims of car yeah. accidents, they will receive yes. uh, some type of a paycheck or something. I yeah. didn't yes. understand. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I remember that in the past, the, I don't know if it's still happening, that we used to pay taxes for FONAT because when there was a victim of a car accident, they will go to FONAT and they will receive a check, right? Yes, we give money when they have an accident. It depends the the gravity of the of the accident or la lesión. It depends. Right. Okay. We have a table with percents. Uh, if you have, for example, five percent to ten percent, you receive uh, three hundred dollars. Okay. If you had the maximum percentage, that is that 95 to 100%, you receive $1,200. Okay, but when you say between 95% and 100, I mean, the person cannot move maybe, I don't know. Yes, or they have lost a member of the body, for example, they lose yeah. a leg or they lose a An arm. arm. Yeah. They don't work, they don't, they can walk or they can uh, speak. Right, yeah. right. It's very, that, that is the, the, the very, very high percentage and and people are very, very sick. Yeah, yeah. So they receive money only one time? Yes, only one time. Okay. And when the, the person died, the family received $2,500. Oh, for funeral services and everything. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, only one time. And who is eligible to receive these benefits? Any Salvadorian? Yes, any Salvadorian or people that are nationalized. Nationalized. Okay. Foreign, but uh -huh. if they are nationalized. 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 Yeah, nationalized. Okay. Ah, that's 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 interesting. Yeah. And and where are the offices located? I have never yeah. seen any of those offices. 
In Central we no. have the central office in Colonia San Francisco, and we have two regional office, one in Santa Ana, in the other one in San Miguel. Okay. All right. So let's see anybody that has a car accident. Yes, the, the institution is very, very important, but we we want to do more, but we don't have enough money. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Salvadorians, they only have, if they have a car accident, they have only three options, San Salvador, Santana, and San Miguel. Right? Maybe Janita has connection problems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Hi. Hello, how are you? We're fine, we're fine. Okay. Um, any questions about the vocabulary you guys were discussing? No, teacher. It's no, clear. is everything mm -hmm. clear? Okay. Teacher, yes. how do you how do you how do you write and and pronounce disciplined? Disciplined. I mean, disciplined. Uh -huh. With e d at the end. Uh huh. Disciplined. Disciplined. Depend. Yeah, disciplined. Ah, okay. Disciplined. Disciplined. Yeah. Disciplined. disciplined. Yeah, personally. What is the opposite? <coughs> Sorry. Yes, go ahead. What is the opposite of tough? Easy. Oh, kind. 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 Okay. Yeah, easy, okay. kind. Okay. Flexible. Naive. Naive, maybe? No. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I would stick with uh, easy, flexible. Uh, someone flexible. said a word. Um, kind. Kind. Yeah, kind. Kind. So yeah, that, that would be the opposite of tough. Okay. Mm -hmm. In kind. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions or comments before we change activity? No, teacher. Okay, let me show you this document, not this one. Discipline. Disciplined. Discipline. And remember the same rule that we apply for um, for verbs in the simple past is the same one uh, we apply when we uh, are pronouncing adjectives that finish with the ed form. So let me see this here. Conversation right here. Here's the conversation. Teacher, these quality yes. uh, for success are like adjectives also. Yes, they're adjectives. All of them are adjectives. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Can you see the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. What is the name of the conversation? It's the newest, it's the newest in place. In place. The newest in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. In place. Oh, okay, what do you see in the picture? Nightclub. People what talking and people dancing. Okay. The disco. Okay. Yeah, it's a dancing. It's a, a club. Okay, a club. Now, a DJ. DJ. A DJ. Playing music. Uh, right. Yeah, the Rastaman. So, so yeah, see. there's a muscular person there, also the fashion <laughs> <house>. muscular, <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, very muscular person. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> yes. And gorgeous women. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. What are the people you think they have? Do you think they are Sorry. people? I didn't hear very well. Can you well, repeat it? Very breaking up, teacher. Okay, uh, I was asking you uh, that based on this picture, what type of personality do you think they have? Fashionable and um, 
muscular the, okay. muscular person the the, the care who clothes for of, of the muscular person muscle, is no, very it no, 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 looks no. very knowledgeable okay yes. they they look attractive and gorgeous people okay okay and Let also me... slender uh-huh uh, yeah. yes slender okay <clears throat> do you see the word in the chat conceited conceited what was that yes okay see it Conceded. Conceded is what we call in Spanish creído or creída. Mm, okay. uh, like vain? Yeah, like vain. But vain, um, you, you can consider yourself a vain person and be sociable with, uh, uh, with everybody. Hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But I'm a vain person. Now, conceited can be vain and think that he or she is better than the others. So it's a... Um, yes. It's a little the bit... Last, the last Coca-Cola of the third. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I was the third example. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, and <laughs> people, we have people that are like that. You know, this is only a, an, an English exercise, but in reality, uh, you have many people that they feel they're the last Coke in the... Desert. And the, the third. <laughs> right. The narcissistic yes. people. What is it? Narcissist. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Narcissist. Narcissist. Okay. So we have people in a disco. They're on the dance floor. I think that some of them, they look conceited, you know, like, uh, like the way they're standing or the way they look. And anyways, you see the guy with the green suit. What is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, as greedy, maybe or he's look. He appears yes. to be a entertaining person. Single, okay. I know. you know. I, I think that he's a like, like like a bodybuilder, and he's showing off his his muscles. You know, like like look at me. You know, I got muscles. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> like yes. Johnny Bravo. Like Johnny, Johnny Bravo. Bravo. Johnny right. Brown. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Brown was cool. The blonde guy. The blonde guy. The blonde guy. Exactly. Okay. He's so pre pre presuming, presuming, or okay. Uh, yeah, he's pretending. Pretending. Yes. Okay, so we have two people in the conversation. We have Mayumi and we have Ben. I need two volunteers to read this conversation. Mayumi. Be ben. Okay, you will be Ben and Mayumi. Okay, I, 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 I can be Mayumi. Okay, go ahead, Eduardo. One, two, okay. three. All right. What's your favorite club, Ben? The South Club. They have a fav fabulous music and it's never crowded. It's just easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Packed. Why? Why do you think it is so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. A lot of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's uh, the newest in place. Uh, I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go? Do you want to go some night? I thought you never ask. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Any questions there? Hi, teacher. Yes. I, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the meaning of crow crowded? Crowded is a Full. synonym of Full. many Full. many people. A lot of people. people. A lot of people. Right, so if you go to a bank on a Saturday morning, there is a big possibility that the bank is going to be crowded. Okay, in, thank in, you. Yes. In pack, pack teacher? Yeah, packed is it's a synonym right. of crowded. Similar. Yes, oh. packed. Yeah, okay. packed, crowded, full, they are synonyms. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Anything else? 
Any questions? Any comments? Teacher, yes. In the last sentence, um, uh, in the band's role, uh, I thought you never ask uh, the contract from you will never ask. Never. Ask. Or you have. You would. No, you would never ask. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Tú nunca preguntarías. Exactly. I thought you'd, you'd never ask. You'd never ask. You'd never ask. Okay, you'd never ask. You'd never ask. I yep. thought you'd never ask. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd never ask. Exactly. Yeah, but, you but never ask. What, yeah. what, what that means? I thought you never asked. Yo pensé que uh, nunca preguntaría. Right. Uh, that, that but, you were yeah. because of him. Do you want to go to so when they said, I thought you never asked, that means that I was waiting for that invitation. Oh, okay, I get <laughs> Right. Anything else about this uh, conversation? How do you pronounce the verb thought? Uh, like thought, thought or thought? Thought. 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 I thought. So you, I thought. you have to place your tongue thought. between I your thought. teeth. You say, thought. I thought. Thought. I thought. I thought you never asked. I yeah, thought. I thought you never asked. Yeah, yeah. Thought. yeah. Me, me, Mr. Uh, that's, that's like, like, that's like a slang, like, like a slang language. And it's, uh, no, it's, it's a, it's a formal expression. I thought you never ask. It's, it's, it's formal. Like no, it's not okay. slang. Okay. It's not okay. slang. Never, never ask. Yeah, it's it's a it's an expression that people uh, use in in real conversations, real uh, decent conversations. Oh. So it's not slang. Anybody else had another question? No. No. Uh, no. Okay, so we will continue tomorrow. Remember that we have classes on Friday. So don't make plans for this coming Friday that you'll be going to a club or, or you go dancing <laughs> or, well, you could, but after the a club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you want to go visit the Casablanca. 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 <laughs> yes. Just okay. to be seen. Okay. Just to be seen. Just to be seen. <laughs> Just yeah. to be seen. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much. You guys thank have a you. wonderful night. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye.